The Parkinson's community is really incredible. Everybody, it seems, that we've talked to cares about the future and are not focused on what can you do for me now. So we're going to be enrolling clinical trials in the fourth quarter, starting in Australia and then rolling out to sites in the U.S. And uh, we're having patients asked to be part of that. The number of advanced patients worldwide is in the million, million two range. And the symptoms that are you know, well known by most folks that have experienced the disease family members, friends, themselves, is uncontrolled motor fluctuations, dyskinesias. And those dyskinesias are largely result from the therapies that these patients have been taking for years. It's not necessarily a natural progression of the disease to have those motor fluctuations. So our technology enables a molecule to be a product that we think will vastly improve the quality of life of advanced Parkinson's patients whose current choices are not great products. When a Parkinson patient gets to an advanced stage, their only options are deep brain stimulation, which is an invasive brain surgery, implantation of a device. Other products that those patients have are candidates for are the infusion-based therapies. That's an electronic pump the patient wears during the 16 hours they're awake. So think about our target product profile within that paradigm. It's a breakthrough in terms of the quality of life of a Parkinson's, advanced Parkinson's patient. And we do believe that the form factor is so connected convenient and non-invasive that it's possible that clinicians will adopt it earlier in that Parkinson's journey and that will even expand the, the patients that may be appropriate for this therapy to earlier in the curve in the journey of Parkinson's. So we're excited about getting this asset, this product into the clinic, into patients. We're going into 88 patient phase 1b study that will be viewed as a registrational study and we'll enroll that trial and read it out over 2026 and we're hopeful that the results show that we've created this zero order release profile for this molecule apomorphine that is efficacious and potentially can keep a Parkinson's patient in an on state where they're not off and experiencing troublesome motor fluctuations. That's the goal of the product.